Key Edu Catalyst, a spark to ignite change. When I was a kid, some of my family members would call me Monica. If you've ever watched Friends, you know Monica is the uptight, super organized character played by Courtney Cox. At the time, I was being called Monica because I was perceived as being very organized and admittedly a bit wound up. This nickname was both accurate and, at times, a little hurtful. And that's what I want to talk about in today's episode of The Kia 2 Catalyst, honoring your unique strengths, even when others might not see them as such. As I got older and had kids of my own, another family member would often say to my daughter, oh, come over to my house because your mom's house isn't the fun house. This was meant to be tongue-in-cheek and funny, but it often felt like a subtle jab. These comments repeated over time began to make me question myself and my inherent traits. Reflecting on my experiences, I realized that those who mocked my organizational abilities were often the least organized themselves. This pattern is common. People tend to pick on others for traits they lack. For example, when I was a little girl, I loved reorganizing the cushions on my aunt's bohemian-style couch by color. While she appreciated the mixed colors, I preferred the blues together, the reds together, and so on. Instead of honoring my natural inclination, she teased me. Although it came from a place of love, as a child I didn't understand that, I grew up thinking that my natural tendency to organize was something to be mocked rather than celebrated. It's easy to start doubting yourself when you hear such messages repeatedly. However, if you view these attributes through a different lens, you might see them as strengths rather than weaknesses. For instance, being highly organized is a tremendous asset in many professional settings. A management consulting company or an event planning firm would highly value and compensate someone for this skill. If your immediate environment views your organizational skills as a downside or criticism, that's their problem. At the end of the day, being highly organized is a super skill. As you develop your personal identity, think about the traits people made fun of you for, the ones you are innately good at. Often, these are also your strengths. Here are a few actionable steps to help you honor your unique strengths. Reflect on past experiences. Think about the traits you were teased or mocked for. Are these traits actually your strengths? Reframe negative feedback. Instead of seeing criticism as a negative, view it as an indication of your unique abilities. Surround yourself with supportive people. Spend time with those who appreciate and value your strengths. Celebrate your uniqueness. Embrace what makes you different. Your unique traits are what set you apart and make you valuable. Now take a moment to grab your journal and reflect on the following prompts. 1. List three traits you were teased or criticized for in the past. 2. Reflect on how these traits might actually be your strengths. 3. Write about a time when these traits have benefited you or others. You have the power to redefine how you see yourself and to turn perceived weaknesses into powerful strengths. Honor your unique qualities, nurture them, and don't let anyone dim your light. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of The Kietu Catalyst. Please share our podcast with family, friends, and on your social networks. You just might be someone else's spark to ignite change. Kietu, who do you think you are?